back and we say, that thing that I felt in my heart at one time, that I thought God wanted me to do. I mean, was that even something that he wanted me to do? Now I just don't know at all. If you think about it at all, that's the way it would be. That's the way it is for those who are not following Jesus, whether you're listening to this, watching this on your television, or you're here this morning. I've been there before where I felt the call of God on my life when I was lost and he spoke to me and my heart would start racing and I would start thinking about all of these reasons why not to give myself over to Jesus Christ. My, my mind would be flooded. My soul would be flooded with reasons and I could just feel the intensity pick up and I just felt like all I had to do was just, 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 just say Jesus and I would be so radically saved and set free. But then all of a sudden, the feeling just leaves. And then sometimes it could be months before that feeling comes back again. Start the process and let God take care of the rest. Mm. It's time for the lost to get saved, and it's time for the saved to get life. God never intended for us to live in miserable and stagnant conditions. It's time to start. It's time to start. It's time to start. It's time to start. All of this that you're seeing in this building today started with, with the least little thing. And one day we're going to walk in here and we're going to see what looks like a brand new place. But you had to start the process. You couldn't look ahead and just camp out all the time on, on how the sanctuary is going to look disassembled for a while and this thing and that thing. You had to start. It's time we realize God is bigger than any obstacle, better than any friend, and ready to go beyond our largest expectations. But we have to start. Whether you're following Jesus in here this morning or not you have to start today not 2009 not tomorrow not in a couple weeks from now start you may not know what to do you probably don't know what to do you probably feel weak unsure unworthy and untalented well good because you're a prime candidate to be one to start start the process let God take care of the rest start whatever it is it may just seem out of this world whether you're following Jesus or not this morning me be saved me be saved man that's almost an overwhelming thought to me start start you'll be amazed what God will do in your life you'll be amazed at the changes he will bring forth I was amazed the things that I enjoyed so much before I got saved and I thought I would have a hard time with. I mean, it's like, boy, that emptiness in my heart, just shove that stuff out. And uh, there were certainly things, even as Paul said, that I still had to deal with and today. You know, all these years later, I'm not a perfect person, nor will I ever be. Oh, but I've started the process and God has taken care of the rest. For those of you who are following Jesus, you have something on your heart, whatever it is, go after it. It may be just the least little thing, but if you start the process, God will take care of the rest. If y'all could go ahead and, and uh, start. If everybody could just stand this morning. Uh, I believe that in this day and time, it is so important for the church of God to be a trendsetter. For so long, the church, I believe, has looked at the world has done and various and sundry things. And we have said, well, let me use that and, and Christian it up some because those are really good ideas. And I believe that it's time for the church to be the trendsetters. We are God's people. We are God's people. And we should be the ones setting the trend.
If you're not following Jesus in here this morning, let me tell you something. Don't leave here the same as you came. Don't leave here the same as you came. If you're watching this on your television, don't turn this TV off the same way that you turned it on. Don't turn this TV off and turn it over to something else that you shouldn't be watching. Give your life to Jesus right now. Because I believe and I know from personal experience that it's a life that I wouldn't trade for anything. For anything. Praise God. And I just want to invite all of you in here this morning that if you want to start something, no, let me rephrase that. If you feel something within your heart that you're wanting to start, whether you want to get saved, whether you it's something else, then I just want to invite you to come to this altar this morning. Why? Because that's, that's a good way to start. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other, and I'll be the first one down here because there are things that I want to start. There are things that I want to start. There are things that God has put on my heart that I have started, and I will continue to start them. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all go ahead and start singing now. Hallelujah. 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 If there's anybody in this place this morning that does not know Jesus as your personal Savior and you want this day to be the day of your salvation, then I just want you to come to this altar and I want you to receive Him as your personal Savior. Today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't tarry any longer. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, everything I have, I give to you. Everything. 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 I'm going to start giving you everything today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, everything. I'm going to start today. No more excuses. No more excuses. I'm going to start today. I'm going to start today. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Can't believe the price you paid. Give it all just for me. Take the path up on the altar. I'm going to try to figure it out. Yes, everything. Everything. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, almighty God. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, heaven, you're my Savior. Thank you, Lord. Let your place of glory given your life just for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, when we get to this course, everybody sing it from your heart. Everything I am, I give to you. You are holy. Holy. Take my life, Lord. Take my life and everything I do. You are holy. Oh, do that course one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are holy. Yes, Holy. Yes, Take my life, Lord. Take my life and everything life, I do. You are Holy. Holy. I just want to encourage everybody that when you leave this place today, determine within yourself to start. Start the process. Let God take care of the rest. He will do it. He will not leave you forsaken. He will not leave you alone. And before we leave here, I just want everybody to bow their head and close their eyes. If there is somebody in this place this morning who wants to give your life to Jesus, I just want you to lift your hand, lift your hand, lift your hand, lift your hand. You want to walk with him. You don't know him. You don't have a relationship with him right now, but you're ready to start. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Anybody. Anybody. Anybody, today's the day of salvation. 
Well, I just want to say a prayer because there may be somebody watching this video right now.